I don't know what it was. Me and my grandma was arguing about something, bro. Like, basically, picks me up and throws me on the ground. I deserved it. I'm awkward a lot. She slapped fire out of me. When, right? And he walks in. He's like, where is he? Where is he? I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, yo, there's someone in the crib. Like, who are they coming for? So I'm sitting here looking around like, too. Like, I don't know where he is. I don't know. Who are we looking for? So now I'm thrown into the back of the police car. I'm riding there. He's in the front. He's turning around and looking at me. He's like, he's like, you know what you were here for. You know what you were here for. And I'm like, I really don't know what the fuck I'm in here for. I thought you could only go to jail for murder. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Backpack Tay, and I'm here with another story time. I'm now. It's been mad long since I dropped a story time. I honestly can't remember the last one to keep it a buck. But look, I'm gonna get right into the story. I know y'all see the title already, and y'all probably sitting there like, nah, he has to be capping. Like, nah, 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 nah. Y'all know me, and my stories. I don't cap. I was a badass little kid. And um, to make it worse, like, I could finally talk about it on YouTube all the way because, like, I mean, like, my shawty now, we've been together, you know, officially for almost three months, even though we've been talking since, like, the summer back in June, July type-ish. But, like, she knows now because, like, whenever she comes home, like, my family just think it's so cool to go ahead and tell her everything about me when I was little type shit. Like, y'all might scare her away, bro. Like, when y'all find out half the stuff I was doing as a kid in this video, just know that the first time she come over my crib and she meets my whole family, of course, my whole family gonna open their mouth and tell her everything, right? So, yeah, y'all see the title. I was arrested when I was, um, damn, bro, I can't remember how old I was. I think I had to be, like, eight years old, and I was basically put on, like, you know, you know, Beyonce is straight. I basically went through that whole routine. So before, before, like, I even get into the details of how that happened or how that was, I gotta tell y'all a few things I was doing, because I was a badass kid, right? I gotta tell y'all a few things that I was doing. So, for example, um, I definitely had bad grades in school, was not listening to my teachers. You know, honestly, this goes all the way back to first grade. So in first grade, I was bad as hell. I'm not gonna lie. I had this teacher named Miss George, right? Um, me and this kid, this is one of my close friends in the class. His name is Alkabir. By the way, if y'all see this do rag, shout out to my shorty for this luxury velvet from, you know, Etira. Y'all already know what this is. Y'all know me and do rags. I'm always wearing do rags. Always got that for one of my video. But she got me a whole bunch of these, especially this one. This one's exclusive. It's a lime green, but uh, look, let's get back to the story. So I was really bad in first grade. I had this kid, his name is Alkabir. He's one of my favorite friends. I think me and him is best friends too, right? So in first grade, like my thing was like flipping and walking on my hands and stuff. So he was elite. So when I was in first grade class, real talk, I was not listening to the teacher. The teacher would start talking about something and me and this kid be in class basically throwing parties while she was talking. Like I need y'all to understand how extensively bad I was, like extensively bad. Word to every word to my mother on everything I love, bro, and everything I'm not lying. That teacher quit. Like she was a first grade teacher and quit because of how bad I was and how bad the rest of the class was. Cause you know, shit, we was amping up the rest of the class. So like we would do stuff like spin on the tables, dance on the tables. Cause like once we learned how to walk on our hands and spin on our head and stuff like that, like straight up break dance and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like we was doing that in school. So like um like, we would do all types of stuff. Like, first of all, I hated not being a line leader. So if I wasn't a line leader, I was starting a fight. And there was a kid in the class, I can't remember his name. I think it was Justin or Jared or something like that. Me and him was always fighting, bro. Like, when I say fighting, I mean fist fighting. So, like, it started from first grade. I had hands, I could dance, and I wasn't listening to nobody. So, like, it started right then and there. And then, like, the rest of the story ain't really too funny because, like, ah, it's funny. It's old news. It ain't, you know, I'm not like this no more. But when I was, like, six, seven, eight, and nine years old, son, I was so disrespectful at home, bro. Like, I was always talking back to my grandma, definitely talking back to my granddad. And a lot of people who know how much I care about my grandparents, they probably watching this like, oh, you was bad? Like, all the stuff you preaching? Yeah, I was bad as hell. I preach it now because I changed. Like, I was bad. But, like, go old. You know, don't sit there and take, don't, don't sit there and feel sorry for my grandma and granddad. Cause they used to beat my ass religiously and expeditiously, like straight up facts. The only reason why I was so goddamn bad, cause I feel like they was beating me worse than how bad I was. So you know I had to revolt. So anyway, like I said, it started in first grade. I was real bad. And I remember this one time, I don't know what it was. Me and my grandma was arguing about something, bro. We was arguing about something. And like me and my grandma used to always go back and forth. Like my grandma used to be dragging it, bro. Like. If I had a soda can in my room, I remember this one time. I just finished drinking soda. I put it down. I turn around to turn on my Xbox. She walks in the room, sees the soda can, and she goes right off the back like, Where did the soda can come from? I told you no eating in your room. Right? If you eat in your room, get rid of the dishes. Snatches my Xbox off the wall. Like, bro, it was there for grandma. Come on now. It was there for 30 seconds. Like, grandma, yo, somehow my grandma could watch my, my YouTube videos now. Like, it pops up on her phone now. So I know my grandma's gonna watch this. Grandma, to this day, to this day, 
I'm still telling you, you was always yelling and always arguing and always beating my ass for no reason. Cause like, I, mm. nah, I deserved it. I was bad. I'm not gonna lie. At whatever. Anyway, so like, she, me and her were getting arguments like that all the time. And um, you know, we was arguing plenty of times. And, and you know, as I got a little bit older, between seven, eight, and nine, I got a little more words in my vocabulary. I had some sentence enhancers. You know what I'm saying? Some little, some eensy teensy sentence enhancers. You know what I'm saying? A couple, you know, f this. That you know, <laughs> you know, saying it's answers. So anyway, um, I was a badass little kid. I remember I was um, I think it, I was eight years old. My ninth birthday was coming up, and I wanted a PSP, right? So there was this white PSP. I had Darth Vader on the back. Now everybody who's watching this knows the PSP I'm talking about, because if you remember these times, that like, you remember how wavy the PSP was. This wasn't a two joystick PSP. This was the one joystick PSP. I think the joystick was on the right and left. I don't really remember. The details don't matter. But anyway, I wanted that for my birthday. My birthday is July 6th, y'all don't know. I take Cash App, Venmo, all that. Know what I'm saying? Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, so like, uh, the birthday was coming up. We were winning Walmart. Me and my grandma and my cousin. Oh, my cousin. Oh, my cousin. Yo, she was my older cousin. I promised me and her used to argue all the time. Like, this is my sister now. Don't get me wrong. Even though it's my cousin. She, she's basically like my sister. I love her to death. Even though we don't talk that much. But, um, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, she used to always, like, instigate. So, like, she would really try to get me in trouble. A lot. And I deserved it. A lot, so, mm, damn, I was really bad. I really deserve half the shit that happened to me. So anyway, uh, we go into Walmart. I see they had the PSP in Walmart. So you know me, it's like two weeks left to my birthday. So I'm on my best behavior. Now, this is where the story, this is where it really gets to why all this stuff happened to me. So boom, I'm outside playing basketball in my backyard. My granddad's mowing the lawn. My dog is frolicking through the yard. And it is 95 degrees outside bro it is 95 like i remember the summer or everything i remember the summer because i was going to summer camp and this was a saturday this is a saturday it was a weekend i remember this so um this summer was crazy it was definitely like 107 then 105 109 110 101 like the whole week was all 100 degree weather so i'm outside and y'all see me now i'm dark i'm dark as hell obviously so imagine me being darker because how hot it was so i'm outside the backyard you know what i'm saying <laughs> Oh, huh, 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 huh. Getting buckets, you know what I'm saying? I'm just out there practicing and I want to come back inside. Now, everybody who knows who's watching this, y'all know, and this, this, I don't know, I don't know if this is a Latino thing, a Latina thing, Hispanic thing, I don't know. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm black, so I'm thinking this is just a black thing. You know how it is. Like, your parents be like, oh, no more running in and outside of the house. Oh, um, you either stay outside or you stay in. Like, okay, Grandma. Um, so we don't have water bottles, Grandma. Grandma and granddad didn't believe in water bottles. We believed in drinking out the faucet, which, you know, to me, I really don't care. I still drink, I, I still, like, to me, I ain't care. Like, I have water bottles now, but, like, honestly, if I get up in the middle of the night, I'm just gonna drink out the faucet. I'm not bougie. Water is water. I live. You shower in it. It's on your body, so I might as well just be in your body. Pause. Wow. Hey, yo, that was, wow, mook. Anyway, so, I'm outside. It's mad hot, and I think I just went back in, like, in and out the door, like, three or four times, and then my grandma gonna lock the door. Stupid, I'm not gonna let you get the chance. My grandma's gonna lock me, an eight year old, outside. I mean, granted, my granddad was outside. And he, my granddad has a ride mower too. He's not pushing a lawnmower, he's riding a mower. So my granddad just speeding around the yard. My dog, we got a big backyard with a gate, so my dog is just running around the yard having fun. And, um,. I actually scratched that. I think he just let the dog inside because that's how hot it was. Because, you know, you can't... They, obviously, if I'm hot as a kid and the dog with fur, he's going to be hotter. So, my granddad let the dog inside. So, I go up to my granddad. I'm like, yo, granddad, can you unlock the door? Grandma's not opening it. And this is... Yo, bro, my granddad, my granddad to this day is still no help, bro. Like, if you're trying to argue with my granddad, he's going to turn up the TV volume. He's going to do something where he's going to act like he can't hear you. So, on the ride or if I run up to him and I'm like, yo, granddad, grandma not doing this. Oh, he can't hear me. Oh, I... I can't hear you. The on me. I can't hear you. I know you can hear me, bro. Turn it off. So like, boom, he wasn't trying to listen to me. So I'm sitting there. I'm like, all right, I got to get back in the house somehow because my throat is dry. I'm already dark as hell, so I'm about to just burn. I'm already skinny and ashy outside. So I'm looking like one of those African kids from those commercials that's like, for 50 cents a day, you can support this child. Like, I'm looking like one of those, bro. So I'm at the back door. I'm banging on the back door. Let me in, let me in. And like how my back door is, I got three squares, right? A big one, a medium one, and a small one. My grandma's only like five foot and a half, or like my grandma likes to say, five one with shoes, grandma. You're five one with shoes. You, you are five foot. So my grandma, she's mad cute. At this time, she wasn't cute though. She, she was sinister and evil at this time. My grandma's cute now, I love her to death, but back then she was sinister. So my grandma's looking through the small window, right? And we got these little shades. So you know how black people be, right? So let me show y'all this. So my grandma there looking through the shades like this. 
what do you want? I'm like, Grandma, let me inside now. Let me inside. Come on, I'm burning. Like, please let me inside. So my grandma's not hearing it. Now, mind you, I said I was on best behavior, right? I had two weeks left to my birthday. At this time, I think I had like three or four days. I'm not going to lie. Um, my grandma's not opening the door. So to this day, we still have these marks on my back door. My back door is old. Like, it's old wood. So it's like, it has splinter wood, right? So there's a sheet of wood on it. And then there's like real hard wood. Pause. Pause. Damn. Yo. Hey. Anyway, so I turn around, I think I get a stick, I'm banging on the door. Let me in, let me in, I'm gonna break it down. So my grandma, she's like, oh, stop doing it for granddad, beat your ass. Now I'm not gonna lie, I skipped past this part. This one time me and my granddad was tussling, my granddad liked to watch WWE. Now to y'all, it may sound like a tussle, I was not fighting my granddad. I, I think I was eight years old too, this is the beginning of the year. I lost my tooth, like I had to, nah, I lied, I ain't lose it. My granddad made me lose it. I had a tooth roll coming out, me and my granddad was going back and forth. My granddad does not get in arguments, I just told y'all. I was getting so crazy with my grandma just telling her, we was just going back and forth for so long. My granddad gets up, next thing I know, he put me, he suplexed me, basically. He picked me up, threw me on the ground. He got his elbow on my cheek. My tooth is falling across the floor. I don't know. And my grandma's sitting there like, nah, I'm not gonna tell that story. You know what? Honestly, I'm gonna tell that story for another time because that story is dumb funny. I'm not gonna lie. So anyway, going back to the story, um, I'm like, okay, cool. I gotta do something to get my grandma to come outside. So I told you I had bad grades in school, right? I was a dumbass, badass little kid. So I don't know what I scratched it with. <sighs> I think I had a rock because my backyard was full of rocks. I picked up a rock and you know how you key a car. I used a rock to basically key my grandma's car. So y'all watching this like, yo, this mother was bad. Yeah, I was bad as hell. I'm not going to lie. So I basically, I go ahead and I do, I think I do like a design. I go one, two, three, right? And it kind of like an H. Now my grandma going to go and be like H. H for, like, so after I go ahead and do that, my grandma looks at me out the window, she sees it, she runs outside, she grabs my arm, throws the rock, like basically picks me up and throws me on the ground. I deserved it, I'm not gonna lie. But at that point, I'm on the ground, I get up, I run in the house, I'm sitting here drinking mad water. I ain't think it was that bad, like, I don't, I don't know how much it costs to fix the car. So my grandma gonna go like, oh, you scratch your H and H for a hoe? You call me a hoe? And I'm like, what are you talking about, grandma? Ain't a hoe spelled W-H-O, ho? Stupid. She's like, no, that's who, stupid? I'm like, oh, shit. Well, I mean, I wasn't trying to do an H for ho. I just kind of, it just looked like an H. So I'm dumb as hell. So now I scratch my grandma's car, right? So now my grandma in the house, me and her arguing. My granddad's still up there mowing the lawn. So my grandma know better not to argue with him because you know what he gonna do. I, I, I can't hear you now. There are damn lawnmowers on. I, I, you know, so he, she not about to argue with him. So now my grandma bring me in the house. Me and my grandma arguing, going back and forth. No, my grandma start, my grandma do something, she slapped fire out of me. When I say she slapped fire out of me, all the hydration I just put in my mouth from drinking the water for the whole pot I just had, which is a badass pot because I was a dumbass little kid anyway with no plan in mind. All the liquid and moisturizer I had on my tongue was gone. She slapped it, it left. It was like gone. I swear it was gone. I've never had so much liquid leave my mouth. So not only did she slap the fire out of me, she slapped it in me because now my mouth is dry. So like she slapped the hell out of me. So at that point, I'm just like, yo, boom, I bet you gonna hit me. I'm gonna do something to you. So I ain't hit my grandma. Don't trip. Never hit my grandma ever. But I took her glasses and I think I threw them on the floor or no, nah, I think I, you know, I did. I took her glasses and I threw them on the floor. So now my grandma gonna start gassing it. My grandma had the nerve to be like, oh, he slapped my glasses off my face, bro. And it's crazy, bro, because me and my grandma talked about this. My grandma's the type of person that when she's wrong, like, it don't matter how wrong she is, she will not tell you she's right until it doesn't matter. So, for example, there was something me and her was arguing about when I was, like, 13 years old. Why my grandma going to come back and be like, when I was 21, two years ago, because now I'm 23, she going to be like, you remember that time you was arguing about this and that, you know, back in the day? I'm like, yeah, I remember that. That was a badass argument. I was 13. I just wanted to let you know you was right. Are you are you kidding me, Grandma? Really? Are, are you kidding me? Uh, uh, it don't even matter. So long story short, she goes and calls the family friend, right? So the family friend, I'm not gonna drop their name, but this this is like I call them my cousins now because like they really been watching over us since I was little. But um, she calls the family friend's husband. The family's friend husband is a cop. So I don't know what's going on. I'm back in my room chilling. Um, I don't really know, and I just see sirens pull up outside. Wee wee wee. And I'm sitting here just like, it's another day in the hood. I'm from the trenches. I mean, we hear sirens all the time. But this time it's different. The sirens are like outside my window, right? Now, where my room is, it's at the front of the house. 
my grandma's windows in the back of the house because it's like room, room, room. Front side of the house where the driveway is, backyard. My house, my, my room is there in front, so I can see the lights. And I'm thinking like, damn, someone on the block did something. Like, oh, it's about to get hot out here. The block is hot. Literally, because it's 100 degrees, but the block is hot. You, you, you know what it is. The block is spicy. So anyway, I hear banging on the door. I see a cop, and I've never seen him before. So huge light-skinned guy, right? And he walks in. He's like, where is he? Where is he? I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, yo, there's someone in the crib. Like, who are they coming for? So I'm sitting here looking around like, too, like, I don't know where he is. I don't know. Who are we looking for? Boom. I get snatched. Next thing I know, I got handcuffs behind my back. Mind y'all, I'm only eight years old, bro. And then my ninth birthday hasn't come yet. And no, bro, not to mind you. Man, it wasn't even the handcuffs that was an issue, bro. I know I wasn't getting the PSP, bro. I wanted the PSP. Oh, I wanted the PSP, bro. I didn't even get that PSP till Christmas, bro. I didn't get the PSP till Christmas, bro. I had to wait from July to Christmas to get the PSP, bro. Damn, yo. I was real, yo, I was really a badass kid, son, for real. Damn. So anyway, now he's pulling me outside. I'm crying. My grandma's sitting here waving and smiling. I'm like, yo, this motherfucker about to send me away, bro. I can't believe this. The key in the car, I'm about to go to jail for life, bro. I'm about to do the whole bid, bro, all that. So now I'm thrown into the back of the police car. I'm riding there. He's in the front. He's turning around and looking at me. He's like, he's like, you know what you were here for. You know what you were here for. And I'm like, I really don't know what the I'm in here for. I thought you could only go to jail for murder. I ain't even, I ain't know what another crime was. Like stealing nothing. I ain't have nothing to steal because, you know, shit, it was nothing in the hood to steal. Everybody that lived by us was broke, so I was just stealing broke from broke. You know what I'm saying? Broke times broke is broker. Wasn't trying to be broker. So anyway, we on the way to the police station. He's walking me around the police station now. The police station in my hood does have, you know, every police. I, I don't know if every police station does, but police stations maybe having like the little jails in the ground. So now I'm walking through the jail in the ground, seeing these big motherfuckers in there looking at me like, "What's waiting for?" I'm like yelling at me and shit, bro. Just I'm scared as hell. And I don't go. He put me inside it. Now he put me inside a cell for like five minutes, ten minutes, and he's talking to me from the outside. And he walks away. And I think I, I basically stayed in there for like ten minutes by myself. I'm crying. He comes back. He's like, "How you feel?" I'm like, Man, this shit suck, bro. This bed hurts. The bars suck. Everything sucks in there. So he pulls me out, sits me down, has a long talk about being respectful and all this. And like the whole time, I'm trying to plead to him, like, "Bro, you really don't get it. I was outside for the die. My girl, don't she go to jail for this? Isn't it like D Dyfus or something? Call Dyfus. Why you come and get me? Get her. Get her. Put the get the woman that did. She threw me on the ground." She wouldn't let me, I, if I didn't key the car, I was gonna die. If I did not key the car, I was gonna die. So anyway, long story short, that whole thing happened and that's how I got arrested when I was eight years old. I was a badass little kid. I'm not gonna lie, telling this story just sparked the whole idea. Stories I haven't told y'all yet. So I'm about to just end this video. Uh, I'm not gonna change my fit, but I might throw another do-rag to brag. Nah, I don't gotta do none of that. But it's your boy Backpack Tay. Y'all basically got it. I was the baddest little kid on the block. I really got arrested when I was eight years old. That's just really some ish. So that's all I gotta tell y'all for right now. I appreciate y'all watching this. I told you I'll be coming back with the original videos, different stuff. We're gonna keep on pushing. It's your boy Backpack Tay, and we out of here. You dig, baby? Deuces.